next level. We're going to talk about LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers and some of the things that could have taken their game to the next level um, that had nothing to do with talent. Um, I think LeBron is one of the best players in the world. I, I, you know, very bold of him to say, but I, I think he's done everything that you would expect someone of that caliber to do. Um, and I think he's a good player. But I'm going to take you a deep, on a deep journey into how to make that next step, how to take that next step in your athletic career and using the Cleveland Cavaliers as a backdrop to that. Okay, so let's start with these four pictures here. This is I, I use these four illustrations just to hit home that LeBron has never been short of effort as far as I'm concerned. And I think that part of it has to be kind of noted, right? He plays with a tremendous amount of effort. I truly think we've seen for the first time an athlete empty his tank for every game. Um, so effort for LeBron has never been an issue as far as I'm concerned. Um, his energy is always at the level you expect it to be at. And obviously being a great athlete and a great talent, I guess we kind of expect that. But here's where we're going to take another closer look into the attitude version of the Effort and Attitude series and how his attitude throughout the series empowered the Cavs and then in some points in the series against the Warriors almost kind of empowered, I mean almost stripped them of the power because of the attitude alone. And I think the effort was good throughout the Cavs series all the way through. Uh, just like in the other series, but as you watch how they handle the injuries to love, hey, regular business, let's keep moving. Hey, we're here to win a championship. We're here to go to a championship. He was a piece to help us get to the championship, but he is no longer a, bar, a part of that puzzle. Let us keep moving. Let us keep working. And they kept giving great effort. I think... You take a closer look at how the series changed when they point guard got hurt, how it changed. You can see how the attitude of the Cavs changed. And I think when you think about today's sports, the media, the propaganda, they're just not talented enough. They don't have any talent. They lost all of their weapons. You know, listen. I'm going to tell you this, I'm, and I, I truly mean this. This is where the attitude part can almost make people play overachieve. That's really what we want, right? We want them to overachieve, okay? Whether they're talented or not, that's irrelevant. At least it should be. We're in a championship game. We had enough talent to get here, though our talent may be shifted or maneuvered and people have to play different roles. But here's the moment where you capture your team and give them the attitude in which they're going to need because they're not because because they may be limited because they haven't played all year because they got to play a small forward instead of the shooting guard because you got to play a point guard instead of the small forward. Now, everyone's roles is changing, which means the attitude has to be adjusted as well. Take another thought. OK, when Magic Johnson played the center for the L.A. Lakers, I'll never forget it. I'm like, man, Kareem hurt. I don't think the Lakers got it in them. Magic is about 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, he had that jump ball, blew my mind. They won the series and all. Magic was the MVP, yada, yada. Well, I think Magic captured that moment of how the attitude adjustment of the team had to change. And he being the leader of that team, he changed that attitude by saying, I'm going to start at center. I think LeBron at some point will mature into that. I think LeBron does a great job at evaluating the things that he does during the season and correcting some of those mistakes, whether they be a mentality, an effort, an attitude, defense, whatever it may be, he will make the correction. But for my future athletes out here, look at these two pictures. 
Maybe frustration. Maybe. Maybe the attitude is as such as a panic, maybe. Maybe in both pictures, their destiny was already set because of that attitude adjustment that was not made. I'll ask you this, too. Take a look at this one. Look at the two differences. And, and again, I, I was an athlete. I understand the media. They'll ask you some questions. And be like, man, you got to be kidding me. I don't really want to answer that right here, right now. And I understand all of that. And I'm not being critical of LeBron. But what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm giving you a different perspective on how to look at your own game. And I'm using LeBron and the Cavs as the pilot to just get there. That's all. So just look at these two pictures. Whatever the question was, it's almost like, dude, what do y'all want from me? Like, hey, I put up a triple-double. I, I, what do you want from me? Come on, man. And then on the other one, it's like, hey, keep shooting. I got your back. Just keep shooting. We need you to shoot. Now, let's just say those, this was the attitude that was coming off. I'm just giving this as an example. I have no idea what he's saying to Smitty, and who knows what question he was asked here. But think about, are you going to work, and are you putting in effort, effort, and people around you aren't giving the same effort? Or are you judging them not to be giving the same effort? Maybe because you're mis-evaluating your role in that company. Maybe your role is to show that this is how this is how this is how you work. This is how you transition. This is how you run. This is how you pass. Maybe that is your role. If that's your role, take the attitude. Hey, come on, watch this. Keep shooting. You'll get it. You'll get it. Just keep shooting. I got you. Because I would argue if you take the attitude and that approach of encouragement, when they hit, we hit big. If you're in your company and you're showing up to work every day and people are not working the way you think they should work, encourage them. Encourage them. You don't have to question them. Encourage them. Be clear on what your role to this team is, what your role to the company is. Because if you're clear on that, you can make the attitude adjustment necessary to ultimately overcome any hurdles, any circumstance. Adversity, adversity. Champions are made through adversity. No championship is won without a team having adversity. Listen, we are who we are because we give effort and we have a great attitude. Give great, give great, give great attitude, give great effort. You'll have a great res you'll have a great res result. You give good effort, great effort. You give a great attitude, you'll get a great result. You don't. You fall where you fall. But if you do, at least your result will be based on what you put in. And that result may not. Let's be clear. That result may not end in a W now. But you'll be able to say, I did everything I could do. LeBron can say he did everything he could do effort-wise. Statistics. My question is, did he do what he needed to do? Did he make the attitude adjustment that they needed as a team when they point guard went down? Are you making the attitude adjustment that you need to make at this new job, at this new position? Make your attitude adjustment to succeed. Not to complain, not to look back and say, if I'd have done it this way, not to say, man, they didn't like me. They, that's why I left. They was hating on me. That's why I left. Make the adjustment, give effort, give a great attitude off and you'll find your results in your effort and in your attitude, not in what they say the results should be, not in the win, not in the pay raise, but in self. If you can look at yourself and say, listen, I made the necessary attitude adjustment for the circumstances that I was going through. My boss didn't like me. He didn't like how I did my work. So I made the appropriate adjustment to to make him may not like me, but appreciate my work. I made the necessary adjustment technique wise because he was a bigger and better athlete. So I made the adjustment in my mind so I can make the physical adjustment. I didn't get, I didn't get hung up on 
the fact that this dude is better than me. I didn't get hung up on the fact that my boss didn't like me. Make the necessary adjustment. Make the attitude adjustment. If you make the attitude adjustment, look at these pictures here. Like you know they're winning the attitude, the swag. Look, look, they don't, they lost love still in this picture. You don't see him nowhere in that picture in the top right one. Look at the bottom. He's yelling at him. Same group of guys. Generally, one missing, right? Didn't make the attitude adjustment. They needed encouragement. They needed someone to believe in them because the media was saying that they couldn't do it. If you are a leader in your company, if you're new in your company and you're and you're trying to find your way through the system and try to understand how they function, how they operate, it's important that you control what you can control, which is your attitude and your effort. Effort and attitude is the key, gentlemen, ladies, make the adjustment. If you're bringing your effort, make sure you bring your attitude. Make the adjustment to your new circumstance and your new adversity, and you will come out of it feeling better. You will come out of it feeling accomplished. The win, the pay raise may not be the indicator. The fact that you were real with your attitude adjustment is the indicator of success. See you next week. Thanks again, and remember, effort and attitude helps you take your game to the next level. See you next week.